We're using the Robotici Roach uh, to enter into the Trinity Firefighting Competition, and we're using this ball hinge attaches to the servo to move the legs, but need more torque, so we're lowering it closer to the center of the servo to provide the torque necessary to raise the roach. Good. <laughs> See, yeah, it needs to turn more. You know? Oh. Use your hand. So this is going to turn more? Yeah, it turns more. But you know, we don't really care too much about tabletop navigation. It's, it's I mean, nice to test. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's like this. Wow. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> Watch that back end, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how it's going to work in the maze. So it sees the edge, it backs up two steps, two or three steps, and then takes a, decides how many steps to, to turn. It's a random number. So it takes either one or two or four, uh, one, two, three, or four steps to avoid the edge. So it's kind of like a baby. <laughs> That's good. Good luck. Good. Yeah, we just need to get it. And then it was got too far away from the wall, so it turned back into the wall. Mm -hmm. Now all we need to do is tell what the front sensor. If it the front sensor doesn't, the front see, sensor anything. doesn't see anything that it, it needs turn, to turn, turn right. To right. That's pretty good. Look at that. So oh, is it doing what work. it's supposed to do? Yeah. yeah. It's somehow work. That works. That's how it works. That's um. Well, I think we have proof of concept, boys. I, I don't know what that was. Well, now it should turn back. <laughs> it's <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Alright, well, with that, did you see fine tuning, of course. But. So, when the, when the second sensor. I think it's going to see that over there. It's going to self correct itself. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> No, that's much better. Um, okay. Let's see what it does. You know that front sensor is bent. Yeah. Turned inward. Hey, not bad, guys. Got too close. Oh, that's so it's, um, that's really good. Makes me a little nervous that it keeps going away at that strong well, angle. I didn't do anything if they're, if the one's still in the happy range. And oh, I see, up. I see. Too far away, too that's far okay, away. it should be alright, huh? Wow. <laughs> I hope it's the wall is fine. Yeah, it's just the space in between. That's the only problem. What is this reason? That back sensor just got too close, huh? I think it's in a loop of turning now. No, it's not. It's kind of like taking wild, dude. That's alright. <laughs> Well, hang on, hang on. If we can correct itself here in the first stages, uh, maybe 
Beyond help here. It's backing up because it thinks that front sensor is too close, doesn't it? Yeah. It pushed yeah, along. I think up in, in the up and be good vision now. I can't tell how far it is. These are the new sensors though, right? Yeah, they're too wide. So they have um, pretty good range, yeah. It's not the ambiguous sensor. It's not that. It's the fact that it's just got... I forget, I had it on my Here's the problem, perhaps. It took three and a half minutes, or almost three and a half minutes, since we started to do this. And if we have a five minute time limit, it may not be a five minute time limit on a walking walk. robot. We gotta find those things. Yeah. I think it's still five minutes. Well, y'all need to read the rules this uh, this break, all right? Also, if we can place it in the first room. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what's the need?